Hey, what's up, guys? This is Isaac. Um, today's topic, and I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm outside. Um, wow. Okay. So anyway, we're talking about transitioning medically, and you want to do everything under a doctor's care. Some people don't, and they want to take it into their own hands. Um, you're gonna have to go through therapy. Some people, in some states, I know that they have. Uh, signature of consent, where you could just sign and say you know what you're getting into and this and that. But it's best to be under a doctor's watch and take the steps you have to take to be under that because you need to have your levels checked. And I'm not even sure if I'm talking loud enough for this video right now since I'm outside and it is like 2.40 a.m. because I just got back from the bar for a little bit. I've uh, been stressed out with school. I need a little break from that. But yeah. Everyone has LGBT centers. If you don't have an LGBT center in your in your city, in your state where you're at, then you could look into community centers and talk to someone there, which I know that's not options for everyone and not everyone has medical insurance and this and that. But I do know here we have hacks which works around your income as far as what the cost and your expenses are going to be for your doctor's appointments and so forth. They want to do therapy and make sure that you are trans and you're not just someone that's just doing it as a fad because there is people who do that. So I recommend you do it under a doctor's care and just make sure that you're doing everything properly, having your levels checked. You don't want any mishaps. You don't want your levels to be off. I know when I first started transition, in the first few months I was irritable. So if your levels are off, then that may be um, most people have that misconception that there's like roid rage with us when we start transitioning because it's basically like steroids, you know, um, or that's how they, what they compare it to is, it's this guy taking roids and them having roid rage, they, they feel like trans men are going to be the same way take hormones and that's not necessarily going to be the case it's all based on your attitude prior to transition I feel like if you're a laid-back person you're still gonna be a laid-back person once you start tea if you're an angry ass person then excuse me for cussing because I know I shouldn't be cussing in these videos but I feel like that's just gonna multiply or intensify when you're on tea so it just it has a way of taking some of your traits and intensify them. So if you're angry beforehand, you're going to be an angry person while you're transitioning. Um, this is horrible lighting. This really is. So <laughs> excuse me for wiping my face. It's just hot out here. I live in Texas. It's humid. And yeah. But for me, I feel personally that tea just kind of chilled me out a lot. Um, past those three months. Because those first three months, I was just extremely irritable anything that just nitpicked and made me like upset or made me snap you know not not to the point where I was being crazy just it intensifies everything and I don't think a lot of people realize that it does that so just make sure you're under a doctor's care with that um, you, it's hard finding doctors sometimes and I do get that but if you could find resources or reach out to your gay area and see what they offer because there's always always groups or activists or advocates that can direct you in the right direction but this video is going to be short guys i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here because i got to go do homework so bye Dude.